One, gonna two, do? three. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Bad cops, bad cops. Yes, so many cops are on the take. What do you expect when they use tear gas and tanks? Whether in a car or on a horse, cops don't mind using excessive force. Bad cops, bad cops. What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. What you gonna do? Bad cops, bad cops. This is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Yeah. <laughs> So this Whether in a car or on a horse. Excessive force. So, <laughs> so pretty much this bad cops. It's not this this bad cops is not really oh, this is pretty old news, but it's just a reminder of just how many people are, are killed by police all the time. Um we just want to remind people and then and then we, we kinda we've been talking about the mass shooting stuff before. Um, but this is kind of a reminder of what happened, like this uh, a situation in which um uh this stuck out me to the most like elijah mclean um if people remember him um he was a i'm just going to play this clip right here just like just to see his face and people acknowledge that this boy who went to a, sh a pet shelter with cats or something like that and played the violin for for these um animals um so they can be happy um he um and he was brutally murdered by police in a very torturous manner um the manner which is very sadistic it wasn't just like getting shot it was like you know being medicated and dying and choking on you so i want to play this clip right here it hit good morning america it hit like the kind of the morning news really hard asap because it happened because um it got brought up during the george floyd protest so it really got hot and heavy and, and then like you know look at his eyes look at that so New details now in the death of ahmaud arbery the young man so remember, this was all in the middle of that. Running in Georgia, the three men arrested have now be, been indicted on felony murder charges in the shooting. At least four. Oh my God! He was killed and called. Can you get any more podunk than those three faces? To the death of Elijah McClain, a 23-year-old black man who died after an encounter with police in Colorado last year. But an online petition is bringing new attention to the case after no one. See that happened in 2019. 19. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good yep. morning, TJ. And that they was very way of killing a sweet man. His sweet man restrained on the ground by police, complaining he can't breathe and he ends up dead. Now take George Floyd's name out of that scenario and apply Elijah McClain's. This happened to him nearly a year ago in a case that is now getting some intense new attention. A plea for justice from the family of Elijah McClain. For them to kill him because... Oh, and by the way, it took the murder of one black man to shine a light on the murder of another black man. More than two million people have signed a petition demanding an independent investigation into the case of the 23-year-old. McClain's okay. mother speaking to GMA overnight. We can blame somebody else. We can blame ourselves. But oh, my God. Elijah is who we were all... We're all trying to get to be. McLean died after being in police custody nearly a year ago. His case now is being re-examined in the wake of other high-profile police killings. The fact that it has taken the death of a man across the country to finally cause Coloradans to stand up to look into a death. It looks like everybody's eyes are watery in this whole piece. In <laughs> like it, the family's attorney says know. McLean was walking home after buying iced tea from a corner store when this call about a suspicious person was made to the Aurora PD in Colorado. Okay. Three officers responded to the call. McLean is seen There's walking on the sidewalk when stop officers right approach him. Stop. Stop. One officer is heard stop. telling McLean to stop. stop. Things right escalate stop. when McLean allegedly attempted to grab an officer's gun. The officer oh, please. and placed him in a carotid control hole, a move that restricts blood flow to the brain. McLean begs for relief, even uttering those eerily too familiar words. First responders arrive shortly after and administer. We don't usually show videos, but I have to show this because you know it's we have standard to see this. protocol for the paramedics uh, to inject ketamine. McLean went into cardiac arrest on the way to the hospital, where he stayed five days before ultimately being taken off life support. A coroner determined his cause of death undetermined.
a young man, a young African-American man should be allowed to walk home wearing a mask, waving his arms to music. But that absolutely should not be a death sentence. The district attorney is open to taking another look at the case, but says it's going to take more than a petition. Ooh, you know, ooh, if ooh. there is something out there that we Good missed, Lord. I will certainly take a look at it. Uh, you missed something? It's be something that's relevant to the investigation. But uh, the passion that's going on with this case and, and the petition that's out there is not something I can base my decision on. Looking at this uh, video, just looking at it, he's <laughs> looking at the this video. Is this is like... worth noting. You all remember at the beginning of <laughs> the pandemic, at the video we were being encouraged seen to wear masks. There were black District men attorney. that came out and said they were fearful of doing so because they'd be looked at with suspicion. Well, Elijah McClain was wearing a ski mask. He has a condition called anemia, which causes him to sometimes feel cold. I hate to even explain that as if I have to explain his behavior, but he was walking down the street doing nothing wrong that night and a 911 call came about him being sketchy and you shouldn't have to explain it tj and, and there's a video from april that was just released of a man dying so so that was I mean, like, let me let me say this first man yeah, let go me ahead. say this first because I, I was like really excited to do the show today and i realized that when george floyd was murdered I did not watch the video. And I did not watch the video because oh, I, I did not either. have the emotional bandwidth to watch the video. I didn't watch it either. I didn't watch that. Nope. And then <laughs> when news came out about Elijah McClain, I avoided the video like the fucking plague because you know growing up uh i i saw a lot of myself my younger self in just looking at his photo so i did not want to see footage yeah of He's just running the area and wasn't having his life special. snuffed out. And I realized that this is the worst part of my job. Um I I love I love being on air talent for act.tv. It's been mostly a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. But this is by far the worst part of my job because you know like I, I told people when I first took this gig that I actively avoid stories on politics because I think politics is really stupid for a whole host of reasons so I spent a lot of my life avoiding articles and and, and news reports on the subject but uh, you know, being that the show is on the platform that it's on, uh, I was forced to pay a lot more attention and it kind of sucked, but it wasn't bad. It was just kind of like, okay, like I'm just a little bit more informed. Uh, it, it can't be all that bad, but you know, I hope you guys understand out there, you know, the people who are watching this segment out on YouTube or during our live show. Uh, that that was the first time I saw any. That's the first time any I seen video. It and it just it it took. I think it's taken all of the spiritual energy out of my body. Like I don't even realize. I don't. I don't even. The way that I feel at this moment, I don't even want to continue doing the show. There was a reason why. I did not that I I avoided all Elijah McLean um footage the only thing i needed to see in my mind was the photos with the smile on his face with him playing musical instruments the only stories that i needed in my mind was to hear about how he went to animal shelters and he tried to help people i wanted to keep out of my mind bullshit like some guy walking home from the store buying iced tea is going to look at a police officer and then magically reach for his gun. Like, I don't, I, don't, I can't, I don't, 
I don't have the emotional bandwidth for bullshit. And I, and I, and I don't have the emotional bandwidth for bullshit of this nature. I, I just don't. So I, I, I need you people to understand, especially for those who may not understand the black experience. You know, these news reports that we hear of mass shootings and police killings, for some of you, it's like, well, you know, just get over it and, you know, life goes on, right? But for some of us, it it's it takes a, a heavy toll on the soul. It's It has a cost that you can't calculate, but you can feel it. You can, it's... It's almost tangible, the cost. Yeah, I mean, um, it, um, I feel like tonight's show, like the spirit of tonight's show, has for me taken a turn, just simply because I saw that footage. And for some, again, for some people, it's like, oh, it's a tragedy. For me, it, it's another part of my soul getting gangrene and then being cut out of me. And it, it hurt. It hurts. And he's been dead for a year and a half. I've known about his killing almost a year. And a new piece of my soul was just torn out of me just from seeing that kind of footage. And I hope that this kind of expression helps some of you guys to understand just how damaging it is to people who have a soul uh, never mind just people in the black community but anybody with a soul it, it's it's very it, yeah. it's painful to people who are not even his his relatives or people who love them in his community i think that's why people like kind of we retrospected him after the border shooting because they saw because really the violent the violent, that mass shooting was live streamed there's really live stream you saw we, we talk about this in the live show but elijah mcclain like his like, you know, the fact that we don't have to watch it, the district attorney should be watching it. I mean, the fact that, like, that's the determination he feels is going to happen to the case from him watching it. Um, I mean, I don't have to watch it. I don't need to watch it. But those prosecutors should be watching it. But if they if that's what they feel, it's not going to be a case from it. Um, but I mean, what the fuck is the body cam footage for if not for the prox the, the uh, district attorney and the but assistant that's why, district that's attorney to, share this to watch update. the footage. That's why I share this update to show how bullshit that report was. Because pretty much they had to bring in uh, pretty much outside consultants <laughs> to investigate. You know, because that's because of those statements were made by a district attorney saying that nothing can happen. We can't do nothing. You know, they sent in um, independent investigation and they said there was no legal biases for any of that that happened. There was no reason for it at all. Do you remember? Do you remember so, we talked um, about the Rodney King beating? Yeah, and how it was like the first camera, uh, unknown camera footage. Yeah, people need to remember that Rodney King was charged with double-digit counts of assaults on police officers, and then that video came out. Like they charged him with assault on police, like almost every cop that was there on the scene, while they were punching and hitting him and yeah. kicking him, you know, hitting him with the nightsticks. And they tried the same shit. They they went right to the same playbook. Uh, you know, this wasn't a thug. It wasn't a ninja. You know, this was the yeah, 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 least threatening to... person that probably lived in Aurora, Colorado. Period. Male or female. Yeah. The least threatening person in the entire jurisdiction. I mean, you know what they and did? And he tried to pull that same, he reached for my gun bullshit. You know what they did in his honor? Like they had whole, I don't even remember this. They, they did whole like fucking violinists from all over the yes. country, like flew in to fly, the, the, yeah. the play like a drink. And didn't they accost those people? Yeah, they did, did Didn't the police them. accost those people? Yeah, saying they were scared of Antifa. That's what they said. Yeah, a, 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 bun a bunch of skinny white girls with violins. Oh my God, they're going to destroy the city. Yeah. And, and the thing is, uh, please, please remind me of who said this, but there's like multiple politicians, you know, 10 generations ago, were talking about uh, the fear that they had if white people got what they believed was coming to them for all they did to black people oh, yeah. for the 200 years leading up to 200 plus years leading up to. 
And they're all afraid that they're going to get everything back that their forefathers wrought. And that's the only explanation I have for jumping on a bunch of violinists playing music in the park. I mean, that if that is not guilt, if that is not if that is not generational guilt passed down generation to gen, I, I, I don't I don't have anything else for you. So I want to go back. This one is finish this off. This like, like, like we said. What's this? The, how he died was really horrifying. It was beyond just being shot. I want to just rephrase that again. It, like he, he, it would have been better off if he got shot. What happened? Yeah. To him? Like, even Five better, days. It would have been better of intense, torturous pain before they pulled the plug for him. So, um, so, so remember that, and then we'll go to this next clip, which is pretty much which also happened in Colorado. Um, in the war, this this happened as well. But luckily, they got fired over this shit. Um, so that happened. But but this happened. Three officers were fired for mocking him. They remind you, we didn't have. I, I'm gonna keep repeating. We didn't have. To, we don't have to watch the video. You don't have yeah, to watch the video. Just like but just like that. No, this is not a video. I'm saying, but yeah, just those like that. Officers that have visual. to watch it. But this is what. Look they, at the smiles on this guy's face, especially on the right. So they get by their own officers in October mocking the death of Elijah McClain. We are ashamed, we're sickened, and we're angry. They can't even find a bad photo of him. Uh, of this internal affairs he's smiling case, at every criminal. photo they crime find. Against humanity and, and happy in every Late photo. Late today, the city's interim police chief announced these two officers would be fired for conduct unbecoming. A third would have been fired, but resigned first. A fourth was also let That's go. That's some bitch-ass shit. It was in a group text and responding, ha-ha. That fourth officer, Jason Rosenblatt, had also been involved in the initial encounter with He was McClain. there! To say ha ha yep. when he was engaged in the incident with Elijah McClain is absolutely unacceptable. McClain was a 23 year old massage. Unacceptable is not the word, lady. Disgusting. And this is nasty. nasty. And mind you, this is scary for the This is the only scary for the can find of him with a ski mask. He was walking home when Aurora officers stopped him and shortly after tackled him, applied a carotid hold, and later a sedative. McLean died at the hospital days later. The coroner said the cause of death was undetermined. An internal police investigation found the officers followed policies and the district attorney declined to file charges. But last week, the governor appointed a special prosecutor to investigate. The Aurora Police Department has a long, sordid, horrible history of like, I want to go back, Lily. So we're going to, so Lily, Lily, they don't want it. They, they're, Literally, they're showing you they don't want they don't want to do nothing to those cops. They let those cops. Oh, you want to hear something you. fucked up? So you want to hear something fucked up? You know, I've only been on two airplane, two round trip airplane trips in my life, right? Yeah. The same month that Elijah McClain was killed, I can't say murder because it's, it's hard to say that they intended to kill him. I was in Aurora, Colorado, that month, October 2019. I was there. Well, like. That is the that is the only time I've been out west in my life. Like the first time I got on an airplane was going to Miami. I went to Aurora, Colorado. Like yeah. I was there the same month that they killed this kid. Well, and I'm a person that doesn't go anywhere. That 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 for me. So even more I, again, I know that some people don't put any stock in, in stuff like that and connections yeah. like that, but I do. It's very it's very disturbing for me. Yeah, I mean, because he's like a yeah, he's like a he's like a charismatic linky kid like and you just like going to the store to get food for it like it sounds like such the same story over and over again oh also let's so, let's also make sure that we put out there that they did not show any of the surveillance footage of elijah mclean paying for the shit that he left the store with <laughs> right they just showed him reaching into yeah, his hoodie. It's so scary. So that look at mask scary right, with right, a red, right, red shirt. Yeah. Right? Right? Like they made sure to show that, but they didn't continue to keep showing the footage of when he produced the money and then you know he left with the plastic bag that you would get after you make a legal purchase out of Convenience store. Reminds you, you know editing, like you know editing. If, if that's if that's surveillance footage, it must be him to stand in line forever. So they they actively picked that one shot of him going underneath his jacket, you know, looking shady with the ski mask. They yo, picked up one yo, shot. Yo, the producers, yo, your production values shot. are like fucking awesome. You were able, you were able to make sure that you edited that 
in in post production just well ju just well enough to make to try to take the nothing that was there and then try <laughs> to turn it into something and then you made sure that you edited it out when he produced the cash to buy <laughs> to, to buy a beverage so that's that's uh bad cops this uh this like they'll never forget his name I mean, wow McCain. he's so sketchy he yeah. purchased some iced tea with a ski mask on yeah because he has a medical condition um he wasn't so uh, that's that's black power magic hour twitter facebook and twitch um uh, uh, follow us on Act TV and YouTube as over 47,000 subscribers. And then Dr. Virginia sees live on Twitch, Facebook, and Discord, and YouTube. And that's Bad Cops, Bad Cops.